State of Decay was built with, I mean, it shipped when the company was maybe 20 people. State of Decay 2 shipped with a company size of about 60, 65. I mean, they're really small teams. Here we are today, we're double that size or greater. You know, we're part of a first party organization. We're part of one of the largest content producing organizations in the world now. And well on our way to making State of Decay 3 with a much greater level of ambition and support behind us. From a studio standpoint, I felt like we needed to take a look at our branding to say, is the brand, the way that we're presenting ourselves to the world, measuring up to what our ambitions are around what we're trying to achieve with our game. And so that was the sort of origin of like, yeah, we should take a look at this. The previous sort of Undead Labs logos and, and branding were directly related to making a zombie game. I think we just sort of wanted something a bit bigger with a bit more room to explore. I didn't know what to expect coming into this. I thought we were like gonna get a new logo. And then we got this entire brand story and experience. 51 Eggs is a brand development company. We partner with companies to help realize the full potential of their brands. And ideally, we love to work with companies that impact culture. With this project, it was exciting because it really is abstract in its nature. There was a big opportunity in this to kind of treat the brand as if it were a game itself and to think about the idea of building a world like that and knowing that ultimately that's the audience for the studio brand is people who want that sense of lore and intrigue. The word undead. Curious, like just at the very beginning of the design process, where did that word come from? Is it zombies? Is it arms coming out of the ground and those kind of things? Or is it something bigger than that? And that became, I think, the driving force of the brand exercise in the beginning was to start to think about, well, what does undead mean? And what do we want it to mean? And how do we make that a bigger concept than just, it's a proxy for zombies? A big part of a game, especially a game like ours, is the story that the players are telling themselves. And I feel like a little bit of mystery in our branding, I think, opens the door for possibilities for us to go whatever direction we want to head in. So that led us through this conversation around, are there ideas that are more universal that represent who we are and what we believe as a company? The logo for this needed to be an expression of a larger idea. And so while we were working towards one object, what we needed for that object to make sense contextually within the world we were creating was to develop this larger idea. And so that's where I think we first struck on this idea of, you know, we brave the darkness to find the power of our own light. And that became like a galvanizing moment for us to like, yes, that's where we want to take the brand. To me, when we talk about light, in terms of like an internal development team. Our light is our creativity. It's the things we're making together. It's the culture that we're developing together. It's just a powerful idea that unites how the studio works with each other and how the studio creates the types of games that Undead Labs creates. Braving the darkness to find our light was the through line of the story we were telling and also the sentiment of what the brand was working to represent. But it ended with, thus we are undead, and I was like, I get it. Thus we are undead is the culminating thought of the way that we have taken the word undead and redefined it to have a different purpose and intent. The larger story that we're trying to tell is around humanity and mortality. Beyond the logo, there's the world that needs to be created. The key is representative of knowledge. There's an hourglass shape in there that is representative of time. Bringing the skull in, on one hand, makes it relate to this idea of a skeleton key being this kind of hidden secret thing, but also really tied it into the humanity of the larger story that we were trying to tell, and also made it feel really recognizable and familiar. The role that 51 Eggs played is sort of pulling those ideas from us and you know, asking enough provocative questions that we were able to tap into, I think, some core convictions. And from that, then you can start to say, yes, these are the things that we believe. Where we wound up leading, I feel like, 
feels very aspirational and very creative and positive. Focusing on the things that were important to all of us and the things we felt were important to the studio, I feel like we captured it really well. It opens up for me like the possibilities of where we can go with what we're doing right now and where we might go in the future. So it's sort of like, where are we going?